Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of WC Weekend, where we're here to let you know what's happening this weekend. I'm your host, Peyton McDonald. And I'm your host, Sunny Morgan. Sunny, how was your week? It's been going good. You know, good. stressful. It's about to get to finals week, so and we're getting into that. We're, we're there. We're so. all, yeah, we're right at the we're right at the end here. Yeah. So the weekends are very important. Yeah. Sleep and study. Sleep, sleep and study, study re, rejuvenate yourself. So this Friday, from 1 p.m. to 3.30 p.m., the Francis Harvey Green Library is celebrating Shakespeare's 400th anniversary. WCU is privileged to be among the few institutions in the world which own all of the original Shakespeare folios. The first five times all of Shakespeare's plays were published in one volume. There will be a musical performance by WCU English professor Mark Rimple and a scene from The Tempest by WCU theater students. Sounds like something you're not going to yeah, want to miss. Yeah, that's kind of big, actually. 400 years. Yeah, it sounds like, and it sounds pretty exclusive. Yeah. Sounds like WCU really is yeah. owning this. Yeah. Well, if you missed it last weekend, you're in luck. Shakespeare's play The Tempest will be playing again this Friday and Saturday. King Alonzo of Naples and his entourage sail home for Italy after attending his daughter Claribel's wedding in Tunis. Stranded on a nearby isle by King Alonzo's brother Prospero, the rightful Duke of Milan, and his daughter Miranda watch the tragic wreck of the ship, the king's ship. The kind-hearted Miranda is horrified by what she sees, but Prospero assures her that all the men on the ship will be safe. Or will they? The Tempest will be showing this Friday and Saturday at 8 p.m. in the EO Bull Center. Tickets are 10 for students and 12 for general admission. They can be purchased at the link below or at the venue box office one hour before curtain. Sounds that, like a good That show. sounds crazy. Yeah. Sounds Ships. Like <laughs> water. Ships, Ships and no. water. <laughs> Not me. It's about that time of year. Warm weather, light layers, and aid to South Africa. Aid to South Africa is an annual event conducted by the Honors College of Westchester Univer University. The event is student-run and its purpose is to raise funds and awareness concerning the HIV AIDS epidemic in South Africa and to combat the hunger and poverty experienced by children in these areas. Join us for this carnival-style event complete with games, prizes, inflatables, family fun, and much more. The event takes place in Hollinger Fieldhouse on Sunday the 17th from 12 to 4 p.m. Now let's throw it over to Taylor for this weekend's SAC movie. Taylor? Thanks, Payne and Sunny. If you love the first Zoolander movie, then you're in luck. This weekend, Sykes will be showing Zoolander 2. Former models Derek Zoolander, played by Ben Stiller, and Hansel, played by Owen Wilson, find themselves returned back into the spotlight after living in isolation for years. Invited to a major fashion event in Rome, the strange friends are shocked to see how much the business has changed. Even more surprising is their encounter with Valentia Valencia, a special agent who needs their help. Someone is killing famous pop stars and it's up to Derek and Hansel to help save the world's most beautiful people from a similar fate. Movie times start at 8.30 and 10.30 p.m. and are $2 per person. Now let's send it back to Kristen with Sykes After Dark. Kristen? Thanks, Taylor. This Friday's Six After Dark event is an annual drag show, which is co-hosted by LGBTQA. The show will be featuring students who are dressing in exaggerated gender costumes and performing skits. The theme this year is boy bands, girl groups, and one-hit wonders, so there is sure to be lots of great throwback music, costumes, and entertainment. Six After Dark will be this Friday at 9 p.m., so be sure to come out for a night full of fun. Next is Sean with the Weekend Sports Report. Sean? Thank you, Kristen. Hello and welcome back for another segment of WCU Weekend Sports, and I'm your host, Sean Hagen. On Friday, April 15th, the men's baseball team and women's softball team are here at WCU, and they own the day. Baseball is faced with a doubleheader against Mansfield University at Mansfield University, with games at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Similarly, the softball team will also have a doubleheader against East Stroudsburg University at ESU at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. As for Saturday, the women's rugby team will begin their WCU Sevens tournament at 10 a.m. Women's lacrosse makes an appearance on the schedule with a game at Seton Hill University at 1 p.m. And the baseball team will pick up again with another doubleheader at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. to complete their four-game series against Mansfield University here at WCU with a home field advantage. The softball team will be at bat and swinging again with their own doubleheader at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m., except they will be at Millersville University to attempt the takedown of the Marauders. And to wrap up the weekend, Sunday hosts some golf, and you guessed it, more ball. Women's golf will be at the ESU Invitational starting at 12 p.m., and the men's golf will be at the Cecil Spadafora Invitational starting at 1 p.m. 
And to wrap it all up, the softball team will complete their weekend war by finishing off with another doubleheader battle at 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Only this time, it's at Bowie State. And that's all we have for sports this upcoming weekend. Now it's back to Sonny and Peyton. That's it for this episode of WCU Weekend. Have a great weekend, Westchester. So Um, hold on. I'm trying to figure out which way I should cheat. Yeah,